Hello, thank you for watching Tittrava Yoga and Fitness. I'm Laura Wilson and I teach you ways to modify exercise so that everybody can find something to do. Let's go ahead and wake up and get refreshed and ready, energized for our day with some morning yoga. This is an all standing workout. You can do it with shoes if you're already dressed. Um, but make sure that you have a nice safe area to work out in, a mat for yoga. You don't really need any other equipment. Like I said, we're gonna stay up standing for this one. I know y'all like that. So please let me know in the comments if you do prefer all standing or all floor, or if you would like to do some up and down workouts. I think I've got another one of those coming soon. Give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. So let's go ahead and begin in our mountain. Just taking several deep breaths any way that we want to making sure that our knees are soft, our spine is long. You can even take a big yawn here if you are just waking up. Let's take a few inhales up, exhale hands to our heart. We're gonna add a little forward flow to this. Inhale. Exhale halfway forward. Just feeling that hinge at our hips. Let's bring this up, hands to our heart. Take it to some flying birds. Like I said, this is going to be energizing yoga to wake up. Stretching open our chest with that inhale. And rounding with our exhale. So we're going to wake up our legs next with some powerful pose. I prefer the literal translation of Utkatasana, powerful pose. Most people call it chair though, because it looks like you're sitting in a chair. So with our feet hip distance, let's press our hips back. Maybe start at just a two inch chair, hands at our heart, lifting. And we can always drop this a little further. We can take hands to our thighs if that feels better, sinking a little more. If we really want to energize this, we can take our arms forward. Just checking that we're still breathing. Now let's loop this back to our mountain, stepping one foot back, warrior one. And we're actually going to add a little back bend to this. If we wish, we can take this deeper by clasping our hands and really opening up. If it was a little too early for that, that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and take this to a half forward fold pyramid, spine parallel to the floor, so that we can bring our same side hand down and really reach that other shoulder up. We can turn our toes out a little bit for balance. Make sure to keep a micro bend in this knee. around with our gaze. Let's unwind from here and maybe take this a little further. Back up to our warrior one. Let's step up to our mountain and we'll take the other leg back, warrior one. Adding the back bend, the variation that feels best. Remember, easy fists at our bottoms, or hands clasped and open. We always take the variation that feels best for our own body. Now let's lift up from here, coming halfway forward. We can take our hands to our back, spine parallel to the floor. Allowing that same side hand to come forward, other shoulder to the ceiling, opening up the back foot a little for balance. Playing around with that. Let's 
one wand from here, folding over the leg. back up to the warrior one. Stepping up to our mountain. So let's check in with that Utkatasana powerful pose again. Hips back, maybe just a little, wherever we can keep our chest up. A little more, hands wherever works best for us. Remember, finding the variation that works for our own body. Let's lift this up with a nice side stretch. So we'll start with our feet hip distance. We're gonna reach one arm up and over. We can add on to this if you choose, cross one leg over the other and bend. This is a good one to do with a wall holding on because this does get a little more stretched out to the hip and side of the leg, not just the side of our body. This is a good one for waking up. Any time of the day, you can do that one to feel energized. And again, feet parallel, hip distance, or let me get back here so I can demonstrate on the wall, crossed over and on the wall. Or without the wall, oops. Was such a hard to change gears. We just want to make sure it's breathable. Bringing that up. We want to hit some balance just to make sure that we're ready to stay up throughout the day. So near a wall or a chair if you need to. Lifting one foot up. Catching it with your hand if you wish. Stay focused. Or not. release from there, take it to the other side. Again, just lifting the foot up and holding, or actually holding it. Both ways are good. Let's release from there. We're gonna take our legs slightly wide toes forward, sit back into an easy squat, and let's work from our shoulders and twist to one side, making sure to lift through our crown, spine long, let's unwind from there, we're going to inhale up, straighten our legs, exhale forward fold without locking out our knees. And you can move in this if movement is what you're feeling, or just be still if you just need a few moments. And we'll make our way up, finding that squat from the shoulders. Let's twist. We want to keep both knees facing forward for this, both hips facing forward. And we're going to unwind, straighten it out again. Let's come forward. This time we are going to take this to more of a lunge to one side. Feel that inner thigh. Let's take that to the other side. From the center, let's fold, shaking out our head. Now let's walk our hands forward for just a moment, finding a downward facing dog with wide legs. This is a good one for really waking up our body, stretching our upper body, pulling our hips back and up. 
Now let's shift forward, shoulders over wrists, foot to the plank, fire in the belly. Making our way back to that downward dog. Releasing and walking back in. Slide bend in the knees as we come up, walking halfway in for some hip circles. Both ways. Now let's do one more balance to wake up our hips. We're going to take it to our figure four. So hold on to the wall. We're going to take the opposite hand to our shoulder and just kind of bend our neck. Maybe look over the shoulder. Let's lift that up, switch sides, shift the back. There is a variation of this you can do in a chair. Let's take that hand over and look. bring that up. We've kind of hit and stretched every bit of our body. Let's take a few more deep breaths. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Very deliberate movement of our shoulders and upper back here. Making sure that our shoulder blades are locked in place. Inhale up, exhale down. So there you go. 10 minutes of yoga to wake up in the morning. Let me know in the, in the comments below what you think. Again, please subscribe to the channel. Ask your friends to subscribe and give it a thumbs up for me, all right? I will see you next time.